Hello guys, my name is Kuliyoshi. This is sort of a blind playthrough of Tsum Tsum Festival. In the last episode, we started this madness with a bunch of, uh, present balloons and more nonsense for essentially free, so... Now we're going to actually go to the Lost Treasure, which allows you to get new Tsum Tsums in an Iron Pusher game. You move the pointer with the arrow, you press the L to shoot your treasure tokens, and then you pause to leave. Oh, yeah, and I forgot, I have to do this first. So this is like essentially your major game for getting uh, Tsum Tsums, that and the balloon pack. So it is kind of similar to Tsum Tsum, and I think it does have its puzzle game as well, but um, yeah, it's... A little bit different, to say the least. So, I... It's hard to really know what to do. And these treasure tokens are based off of what you, uh... So, this is essentially the Tsum Tsum coin pressure game. Almost getting a match of free, and I did, okay. Cool, I got extra coins there. So this is essentially its virtual coin pusher, which is really cool. I played an app like this on my uh, iPad once, so I kind of understand how this works. So for what I'm guessing, you want to time the pushes to a point where uh, they'll push stuff off into the coin. Wind, wow, that gave me a lot of coins. How do we get the treasure Tsum Tsum? I guess that's for getting lightning bolts. Okay. So, you get to play this for a while, I guess. Obviously, I don't really like uh, waiting on this, so Rabbit Fire will be activated. If I ever get a game where I could essentially play Coin Pusher for free, I do Rapid Fire because it's way funner than doing regular gameplay because then stuff like this starts happening quite a bit more. Oh, wait, there's lichens on the screen there. The flames tell me how many spins I have left, and if I rabbit fire enough chimes, I might get uh, uh, flames to get the treasure soon soon. Is that what I have to get to, to get it? In that case, I'll probably just rapid fire everywhere and hope for the best. The more splitting I do, probably, the better. Not getting lucky with them falling into the coins, though. Oh, we got up to five finally, and whatever this rainbow thing is. Oh, nope, blocked. Oh, that might actually be the... It might give us the treasure Tsum Tsum we're looking for. Okay. And these are based off of the number of coins I have, so since I have a lot of coins, I have a lot of treasure tokens. Oh, we have some super fire. 
Oh, there's an orb that comes onto the field. So now we have to try and push that thing off. The only reason I remember this is uh, because I... I used to watch Japanese coin pushers all the time, and they have these orbs that you can push off to get cool treasures. So knowing me, if I push this off, something cool will happen. So what's that do? Okay, it gets lightning. Ooh. Oh, wow. It just rolled straight in. Wow, that's cool. My flames are full now. So, yeah, you just have to keep on getting spins and hope for the best. Ah. I keep getting blocked at the end. Okay, I, I haven't gotten much uh, in the center in a while. Alright, there we go. Oh! Am I finally getting this? Oh, I did get it. What's that, dude? So, I think that's how you get the treasure soon soon. Whoa! Oh, so this is like the super jet or whatever. Now a bunch of coins are raining down. This is cool. Holy crap, this is cool. So that was essentially the jackpot right there that I just hit, which gave me quite a few coins. Ooh, and I almost have the elemental orbs completed too. I think if I complete that, I can get my prize soon. Cool. Ah, oh, it's the same one as before though. And this time it's not going down without a fight. Wow, okay. My coins are still going up, by the way. Obviously I want to get that treasure soon because I want to get that when I can. Lightning again. Whoa! Big giant coins came down. Got uh, blue again. It's literally only blue or yellow. It's not gotten the red one. It's not given me the red one even once. Oh well. Lightning again. Oh, by the way, the water is kind of a false uh, sense of hope. If the ball rolls off into the water, then nothing happens. That's why I have to be kind of careful and try and block accordingly to make sure everything goes right. Ah, so this is not one of the spin things where overfilling the spin cap does anything. Lightning again? Come on, dude. Give me a red already. <laughs> I 
I can't control it either. It's completely random whether or not I get the right ball or not. But I'm determined to play until I at least get that so I can see what that is. Still rabid firing, by the way. <laughs> now we're having a spin drought for quite some time. So this is what this does. Star, 100, or rainbow or higher produces an item along with coins. The trio thing drops an orb, and the big thing we got before that, yeah, that was actually a bonus of about 3,000 coins. Oh cool, we get an item. What's it gonna be? A uh, green chip thing. Okay. What's that do? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, it was like a wall. It acted like a wall and just pushed everything down. And giant uh, coin there. Which just awards more stuff. But other than that, nothing really uh, else here. Cool. We're getting a lot of pushing out of this. Oh, there's a wire coin in the middle of all that, somehow. Yeah, that coin's shaped exactly like Wario, by the way. What's that do? Oh, wall blockers. Cool, time to push, because now none of the coins can fall off the sides for a few little bit. By the way, these are almost the same power-ups that were in the game that I played on the... Uh, iPad as well, so... I kind of understand that. Getting lots of items. So that's called the walls power up. Good to know. Okay, I kind of want to stop this now, but in order to do it, I need to wait for all these spins to burn away. And by the way, this will show what, how long it can take before you have to like leave and do stuff with all of your spins, cause, um, anyway. <laughs> As you can see, you pretty much have to wait for stuff to go off. So yeah, in case you're wondering, this will kind of give you an idea how long it could take to remove all of your spins in this. Is this what we've been waiting for, by the way, this entire time? Oh, there it is! The flame orb finally came out. Please be in a good spot. Okay, it is in a good spot. Now we get to finish our collection and then finally leave this place after that and see what happens. <laughs> so we're gonna push this baby all over the edge and we'll be done with this. I will say though, because this is the only really interesting game around, I might do a couple of random videos later. Okay, okay I got all three. Oh, there it is! The Tsum Tsum prize is now available. Had an hour ball. 
Let's block this as well so that we can get them both pushing. There we go. Now the game just got more exciting all of a sudden. Better not bounce off of something into somewhere else. Okay. Alright. We got a skill level up for Mickey. And we got a new treasure, Tsum Tsum. Mini. Okay. So this is a cool way to get Tsum Tsums. Big Tsum. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Alright. So that was good. Treasure tokens earn 4,000. Result is 8,000. Okay. We got some more there. That's good. Alright. Cool. So... I wonder what that does. <laughs> I will never know, let's be honest, but... Okay, time to go to Tsum Tsum Mania now. Continuing on with the last of the minigames. We'll do High Score Battle and High Score Challenge here. Let's go to this first. Shoot the UFOs that appear. The game ends once the clock reaches zero and the player with the highest score wins. Okay, this is a shoot em up. <laughs> That's all? Move with pointer with, uh, the arrow pad moves the pointer while the other thing centers the pointer and, oh yeah. No wait, ZLR shoots the Tsum Tsum and you move the pointer around with motion again. Oh great. <laughs> An arrow to center. And just mash to suit Tsum Tsum, okay. This is a cool game. And from the looks of it, they did actually include the puzzle game with this. I just didn't expect it to be like this. But anyway, this puzzle game, in case you're wondering, was pretty similar to that of... This this game's origins was in the iOS. You could play this game as a puzzle game. Zoom, zoom. Okay. Okay. Oh my. Bunch of them coming. Cool. Oh. 
All right, that was a good score to start with. All right, now for the arrow mode. I don't think we probably will be able to do online unless we may have not even had our connection before. I do have Nintendo Switch Online membership this time. I just think the committee for this is dead. And that's probably what I've been missing. Okay. Okay, well now I know how this works, so let's... Go for a high score by clearing all of the stages, because that's uh, something that has to be done, I guess. <laughs> and by the way, this is not going to be a long playthrough at all. <laughs> it's a lot shorter than I expected. But it's really much- it's probably more fun, if anything, to play with four players, so... I don't know. If I get some online game paid, maybe I could show that, but other than that, I don't know. Ooh. Cool. So you want to find the purple on each of these rounds. Alright. Cool, so as long as we shoot that a lot, we should be getting a high score. Alright, now back to this warning thing again. Ah, oh, so that's how you damage the ship, <laughs> by shooting into its core when stuff comes out. The heck? Minus 10 out of nowhere. Oh. Uh, we're cutting the stages so fast, by the way, it's not even really at hard ass. I guess some of them just attack us. Oh, there's a minus, actually. Can't- don't want that, we want the plus. I like the recentering feature, which kinda helps with the motion controls. Also, this uses very similar controls to that of Super Mario Party as well. It also uses a Joy-Cons only with motion shells. Thank goodness I have four of them. For later. Okay. So many minuses now. What's going on, dude? I want these Myases to go away, but I don't want to hit them either. And yes, in case you're wondering, for this video I'm playing as Minnie because she's my favorite Disney character of all time, and I like her more than anyone else. Which is kind of new. 
And I'm pretty sure that's gonna get a lot of complaints, like everyone says, oh, Mickey's the best, but... People don't appreciate Minnie enough, that's why I like her more, I guess, you could say the least. But, yeah. But to be fair, which Soup Subia Pit doesn't really matter, it's really all personal preference. Had it been a different year, I might have actually picked Winnie the Pooh instead, because Winnie the Pooh is one of my favorite Disney characters for a long time, but now uh, that changed quite a bit. Oh. So, yeah, hitting those things reduces your points by 10. Oh, wow. You can destroy that thing, and doing so will cause all the ships to just appear rapidly. Wow, I know that. I keep on missing everything. <laughs> what the heck? There we go, we finally got that one. All right. All right, so the more uh, farther you get, the more uh, or you have to play a little bit more sparingly with your strategy. Oh, I think I missed that. Oh, never mind. Alright. So they get harder and more longer as the time progresses. So many minuses now, it's ridiculous how many there are. It's hard to know what you'll hit first too, because there's so much stuff in your way. Alright then. to the big ship again. We blew it up, okay. Alright. Cool, that was a good score for this game, I think. This is a lot more funner game than I expected, though. It's probably best with four full friends, though, so... This is a good party game, that's good to know. I might play this with uh, Mom, actually, the next time I get a chance. But other than that, okay. Ooh, we actually get the pu uh, puzzle game action, but it has to be the screen touch one, okay. Ooh.
Okay. So they do have the original Tsum Tsum in. I'm gonna try this for fun, just see what happens. Oh, uh, yeah, it has to be on the other controller. Whoops. <laughs> hey! Wow, okay. I'm <laughs> sorry about this, by the way. Sorry about that. As you can see, the Tsum Tsum thing does not work really well with uh, stuff like this. So we're going to have to skip that because there's no recording thing for that for some reason. But, well, there you go, guys. Now you know. This game is confirmed to have the original Tsum Tsum in it as well. And it's kind of interesting that you play it on the pad instead of the phone, which is really cool. Now, we're not done just yet. We still have a few mini games to do, and then we'll be done with this game. There's no reason to do any more videos on this. This is not as great of a game as the original was, which uh, I am currently actually doing my best to play quite a bit right now. Because that's really cool. So, yeah. Alright then. We'll stay with the same Tsum Tsum that we were doing before. Okay. This is becoming a little bit more fun than I expected. So far my A coaster thing was my favorite. Alright, let's do the dance game now. Verse battle. Shake the Joy-Con. That's the controls, eh? Rainbow indicates shrink the Joy-Con, and then there's shake the Joy-Con down. In Ribbon Battle, everyone's markers will appear at the same time. Time several well in a row to earn the combo points. Okay. Cool. We got different zooms this time. Oh wow, there's a lot more than I expected. Um, because of weirdness in the playthrough, I'm not going to play for all the songs because that'll take a little while. If you want to check out all the songs, check other videos for that. I'm sure there'll be other videos on this. Okay. So this is the rhythm game of the play. Wow. This is weird controls, by the way. I do not like these controls, by the way. Holy crap.
Okay. I did not expect the controls to be this wonky with this game. I might actually leave right now while I still can. But anyways, that's the Rhythm Game Special. Not quite as good as I expected it to be, though. I will say, I, I kind of actually want to leave. <laughs> if you want to see all the different signs, you can definitely check the a different link then, but I will probably stop this early just to avoid copyright, but I don't know. It depends, though. So we have uh, round and round one and other stuff. Wow, there's still quite a f There's actually a lot more than I thought there was. Spinner Battle is next. This one looks like it's just one of the other things. So let's look at what this is. Knock your opponent to steal a mini Tsum Tsum. Whoever has the most when time runs out wins. Pick up treasure chests to get items. Use them uh, um, to knock out your opponents. Super Dash, run towards the nearest opponent. For a short time, you turn to a powerful giant Tsum Tsum. Scatter Tsum Tsums in three directions. Gust of wind surround you and blow our plays away. Okay, let's, uh... I move Battle Spinner with this. With the stick. Use items with any of these two. And Short Dash with up and right. Okay. We'll go ahead and add all the CPUs. Because, look at this. It's not fun unless you have at least four people here. So we have to knock into everyone to steal Tsum Tsums and collect as many chests as we can. There's probably going to only be one at a time, but we could definitely still make stuff happen. All right. Oh wow, I got knocked out already. Okay, well I'm doing a lot better than I expected. Wow, two of them got zero points. Alright. That was simple. Mode select time. We're gonna do all of the modes in this one this time, because I did say we are doing all the mini games. <laughs> this makes the most sense to do, but uh yeah. And yes, all these mini games are being done in a blind playthrough, but I'm not going to even just as a blind playthrough because I don't really know what else to do. Same controls as before, but apparently we have to get um other stuff this time as well. Yeah. There's some really cool mini games in this, though. I'm not gonna lie. And even as the return of the Tsum Tsum puzzle game, but we can't really play it. I knocked out everyone already.
Run away from the giant soup zoom! <laughs> okay. I completely destroyed everyone, by the way. 517 versus 380 was the other highest. Okay. That this is a cool mini game. I like it. Most of these are really cool, that's for sure, but it's hard to know what else to do. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is kind of a rare game. Uh I'm not sure if many people even have this at all, but Yeah. It's really hard to know how good it is. Defensive challenge. Which is, uh, solo, of course. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I always play with, uh, both of the CPUs on, cause, yeah. <laughs> you kinda have to, <laughs> otherwise it's not fun. With four people, it adds a lot more pressure to the game. Okay. So this is a defensive challenge. Oh, you have to defend it. Whoops. My bad. Okay, so you basically defend it. Oh cool, we completed a challenge in that game. Again, I'm not really interested in doing my shelves. If I do separate videos, maybe if uh, enough comments come on, I'll do like a big uh, one hour session on maybe one game. I was actually thinking of maybe doing an hour session on the coin pusher and see what happens because that's by far my favorite game there. Alright, Iraqi next. We'll start with the cooperative bubble challenge actually. I have to move my smasher and then super smash when hoping the you can. Use the putt to pop the balloons and get coins. Work together to get a uh, high score. If the putt goes in a goal, you lose high. You can perform super smashes to pierce bubbles with smash L. For a short time, you turn into a giant suit suit with a superstar. Okay, let's uh, go with this. We're almost done with all of the mini games, by the way. I might take this one a little bit longer, since, uh, there's probably only gonna need to be two episodes of this, and there's gonna be no any of this. People are just gonna have to find this out. Oh, you just move it, and it's like... Oh wow, this turned into like a breakout style game. Goodness.
Did not expect this, by the way. Gosh, I'm not doing really well on this one, I will admit. This is not a fun game, <laughs> if I don't do well on it does. This is a tough one, wow. Okay, let's move on to the actual versus one, now that I know what to do, <laughs> that is. This is kind of similar, yeah, this is legit ice hockey, <laughs> which is cool and all. Versus battle. We'll add all the CPUs. Random. Because why not? Whips with me, or whatever that is, I forget. <laughs> okay. Now it's a 2v2. Now, now it's a lot more fun. What is this gonna end up being, I wonder? Okay. Oh, we can move everywhere now. Whip's gonna guard the front line, and I'm gonna guard the back. Unless... <laughs> okay. They're all out of their pucks right now. So that's what that smash does normally. It knocks everyone out of their pucks. Cool. And we won. Oh, or not. Nine points. Oh, we changed positions. We're on the upward team now. Whoops. <laughs> My bad.
Look how big I am, goodness. Alright, we destroyed him. <laughs> 13 to 7, okay. Next game. This is a crazy game, eh, by the way. <laughs> Interesting. Okay then. By the way, uh, when I failed, by the way, when I accidentally did a failed recording of this, Okay, obstacle course. High score challenge. We had Tsum Tsums to collect jewels together. Going out of bounds takes away a try. The game ends what you are out tries. Pick up items to make the high so star. We have Tsum Tsums to collect the jewels together. Okay. Move, zoom, zoom, jump with arrow pad. Dash with stick up and down, or uh, jump with left and right. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, uh, all right then. So this is an obstacle course race now. Okay then, uh, let's see what this is about then. <laughs> Honestly, we probably just want to see her in this <laughs> to get to the end as quickly as possible. Well. Oh, wow, this is taking a long time to load. Okay then. Okay. Okay. So this is just survival until the end, I guess. <laughs> oh wow, eight already?
Okay. It gets too fast at one point, I think. This gets really fast really quickly. Okay, that was a good score, actually, once I got the hang of it. <laughs> Definitely really fun. That turned into, like, 22,000 all of a sudden, which was quite a bit, I guess. Now for the versus mode of this. I wonder what the versus mode will be like. Just add the CPUs then in, I guess, and hope for the best then. <laughs> Alright then. After this, there's one more mini game, and then we'll be done. Sorry about not playing the music goodie anymore. It's just that I didn't want to show it off more than what it needs to be, because it was a lot longer than I expected. Some games, uh, if, I, if I get enough comments, I might show off the game in its own unique video only. But other than that, though, unless I don't get any fan requests or comments, yeah. So, that, oh yeah, that makes reminds me. If you want to see more of this game, leave a like and comment in the comments section. Otherwise, I will not be able to do that. What the heck? Oh, there I am. So big, gosh Dane. Alright. Out of my way, buddy. Okay. That's so really a race to collect as many gems as you can. This is a slower version of this, I guess. Oh gosh, mini moves so so. <laughs> I just noticed. I destroyed them again, by the way. <laughs> Alright, only one mini game left. I guess the only minigame that's not included is the Puzzle Zoom Zoom thing, because the original Zoom Zoom is puzzle game. Uh, it cannot be recorded, unfortunately, which is kind of unfortunate. 
If it was recordable, then I would do it, but it doesn't work with my capture card, unfortunately. Now for the last one. Catch and bounce the ice cream. And you can speed these up as well, and you tilt it with a... Uh, you know. Catch falling scoops of ice cream cone in a line. Chill to Goy Con. Control the cone. Keep it bounced or the scoops will fall off. Hack 10 coops of ice cream to get a bonus. The game ends, the prop reaches zero, the player at the highest score wins. Okay. All four CPUs are back in play, and now let's try and play through this, I guess. This is the last video game on the list that I know of. Okay. This is weird. Okay. I did not expect that to do that, by the way. Nice combo. Oh wow, Chip caught me at the last second, which means it was a good because we got second. Still though, I was kind of crazy at the end. That game got really crazy at the end. I did not know what to do, and then all of a sudden things just started happening. <laughs> That's uh, many games for you sometimes. Stuff happens. Okay, cooperative now. Which is just stat the ice creams and try and win and chill Joy Con as well. <sighs> okay, I had soap for the best in this, and then uh, we'll be done with this game for a while. It's a really cool game idea. I still like it. It's just that it's not quite as good as I expected the Hijel Sub Sub to be. Okay.
Cool. Who's to miss? Barely counted. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, now the speed goes up. That was a weird hit box there. Okay. I'm doing really good at this, by the way. This is one of the games where you can't be fast. You have to be kind of steady with this sound, actually. That was weird. Again. Alright. Ah, so the time limit runs out pretty quickly on this one as you get closer and closer to the end. This is a much easier game than I expected. Oh, and speed is up again. Goodness. It just gets harder and harder. Okay. 
Some of the weird shapes you get in this, by the way, is really crazy and nice full combo there. Nice. So that exclamation point means I'm not supposed to flick it rapidly or I lose uh, points for that. Gotta be steady on this one. Steady. Wow, all the way up to 80 seconds already. Look at this weird curve on this one. Cool. Fifteen stages cleared already. Holy crap, this is so good right now. Ah, darn it. Holy crap, look at the speed now. The music's gotten so much faster now. Barely pulled that one off. Again, barely pulled it off. I'm saving this one by quite a bit. Holy crap, this is such a good one so far. <laughs> More speed. On top of already having a lot of this nonsense. Then a full combo as well. This is probably the best game I played yet. Cool. Got a mission completed as well. 2,000 coins there. 
We'll end this with, uh, I guess, just uh, going through and uh, picking up our stuff. Because, yeah. This is a cool game. I that's for sure. It's just kind of sad that there were not many copies made. So, if we go back to our bubble thing, or... Uh, present balloons. We can get another present balloon. Let's see what this one's gonna be this time. Hero, okay, that's cool. And there's also bingo cards as well. Oh, it's a uh, Sim Sim puzzle only. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay then. Hi guys, that's going to be it for Sim Sim Festival. Leave a like if you enjoy. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a leave some comments if you want to see more gameplay of this. Until that. <clears throat> until then, leave a like if. I you enjoyed, can't rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.